Hello everyone, let's do something a little different and fun today. So, can you solve this maze from Mensa, which is the High IQ Society? First off, my name is Matthew Fraley. I'm the founder of BreakpointTrades.com. We bring you the most advanced technical analysis on the market, as well as sophisticated trading algorithms, like you see here, which we share trade signals to our clients and subscribers. But again, today is not about that. Not going to talk about the market. We're not going to talk about the systems. Going to do something a little fun here. Especially since the economy and the stock market have been so depressed, depressing for a lot of folks. So here is a maze that I saw way back in the early 1990s in a Mensa magazine when I was in college. So I have some text here, zoom in on this, and I talk about it here. But basically my son, Leo, who is seven, he recently got into a, what I call a maze kick. And I wanted to find one that would really challenge him. And I remembered this maze. I actually kept a copy, which is crazy. Surprised I did, but I remembered that. I looked at my old college textbooks, which for some reason I still haven't thrown out. Hopefully you guys have. But let's take a look at this maze here. All right. By the way, guys, what I'm going to do here is there's going to be two separate videos. The video here, I'll discuss the maze. I'll give you the directions. And in a separate video, I'm going to provide you the solution. Okay. Now, at the in the email in the uh, video description, I will provide a link to the maze image so that you guys can print it out yourself. You don't have to try to look at it on YouTube, which is obviously not the you know best way to try to solve a maze like this. You want to print it out and then work on it. Okay. So. Here's the rules of the maze, essentially. And you probably a guessed, but essentially you go through a letter A, then you have to go through a letter B, you have to go through a C, you have to go through a D. And then after a D, it repeats. You have to go back through an A, a B, a C, and a D. Okay, you have to continue going in that progression. So, for example, you're right here. Let me... Say so you go through this A, you can only go through a B, then you can only go through, you know, a C and then a D. You cannot go back through the C, you know, backtrack and then, you know, go down here through a D. You have to continually move forward. So after the C, you have to go through the D, the A, etc. Okay. All right, guys, that'll do it. Again, look at the description of the YouTube video. I'll provide a URL to this image. You can work on it on your own and I will post a separate video where I post the solution to this. Okay, have fun.